So we've been working on our Count Something app, and we programmed using uh, to change it a label, basically. Another way we can do this is to create a variable, and this becomes more useful. So I'm just going to make this global variable my count. And I'm going to initialize by setting my count to 0. Now, this is going to look pretty simple. So I'm going to set my, um, actually, I don't want that. I'm going to come here and I'm going to, actually, I didn't want that. <laughs> I'm going to set my count, right, to getting my count variable. plus one. So I'm going to set my global count variable to plus one. I'm going to duplicate this down here and I'm going to grab my uh, subtraction one and I can move this off. And I'm going to set my global count here to global count minus one. So basically it's the same equation that we've written. So what do I want to set my count text to? Well, whatever my variable for count is. So I can use that. Now you're going to probably say, what is the uh, big deal on this? Uh, and we should still set our global count here, or change our variable here to zero, along with our label there to get that global count to reset it. Now. You're going to say this app actually works exactly the same way. I can bring up my emulator. If it's enabled, we add, we subtract. Nothing has changed in the functionality of this. However, by storing our count as a variable, instead of just appearing on the label on the screen as something visual, we're actually keeping track of this. So we could use this variable here in other math equations. We could transport this variable by storing it to another screen, which we couldn't do if it was just as a label. So if we're actually writing this program or writing it uh, in a more usable way, you would want to uh, store it as a variable and then display as a variable uh, your content.